to have such an innocent, loving person just gone. You know, it just breaks my heart. Wedding photos of Catherine Kennedy taken just three years ago. As she and her husband said, I do in front of friends and family. The Escondido mom, a longtime and very active member of St. Timothy Catholic Church, was leaving the church last night, driving down Grand Avenue near Midway Drive. No idea she was headed right through a shootout, according to police, between gang members. Kennedy was hit in the head by a stray bullet. She crashed her Toyota several feet down the block. Neighbor Barbara Allen ran to help. I heard boom, 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 and it came running across the street to her. And I checked her pulse, and I'm like, hang on, honey, hang on. You know, and she was gurgling. <laughs> she was still alive, and then the ambulance came, and that was it. <laughs> the 55-year-old leaves behind her husband, Kevin Kennedy, who was a staff member at the church. She also had a daughter. On Facebook, friends posted, rest in peace. Fellow church member, Melanie Applegate. You should be safe driving through your town that you love. Gosh, it's just not fair. You know, it is just not fair. Doors of the dentist office where Catherine worked as a dental hygienist were closed today. A photo of her and a sympathy card sit on the counter. Yeah, I'm extremely angry. This is, this is a senseless death. This should not have happened. Escondido Police Chief Craig Carter says his department will find out who did this. He says they believe the shootout stemmed from the Pepperwood Meadows condo complex. And I don't often call out an individual location, but I got to tell you that my frustration level is very high. A sheriff's Astria helicopter circled the area late Wednesday as detectives continued to gather evidence. Meanwhile, those who knew and loved Catherine say her faith was very important to her. Their faith, they believe, will get them through this. Yet that doesn't make the pain any easier right now. Oh, God bless her family, and I wish them nothing but peace through this awful, awful time.